Now to the coronavirus here in the state. This fall, life on college campuses will likely feel much more like the pre-pandemic life. UConn leaders just announced a plan for the university school year, which includes more in-person classes and students living on campus in the dorms. Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanne joins us live from stores. Roger, this is all happening because of the COVID-19 vaccine. Yeah, Wendell, that really is what this is all about in so many ways, because UConn leaders say they believe just about all of their students will have been able to get the vaccine before returning to campus this fall. And they say that they'll actually help administer the vaccine to any student that has not been able to get it beforehand. And they say that is really going to help them return life to something much closer to normal here on the campus in stores. So here's what students can actually expect when they do arrive here in stores for the fall semester. First and foremost, UConn leaders expect to be able to accommodate a lot more students actually living on campus. They hope to return dorm levels to about 90% occupancy, although the exact percentage will be dictated by state and national safety regulations. Also, once students actually arrive, they can expect to attend most of their classes in person. That's going to be a big change. In fact, students can register for courses right now for the fall semester, and UConn's president says the school is offering nearly the same amount of in-person classes as it did before the pandemic. Now, despite these very hopeful signs, UConn's leaders stressed that some safety precautions, of course, will remain in place. The campus community will be asked to continue masking up and to practice social distancing for at least as long as state guidelines dictate. And the school will set aside some isolated sleeping areas in case that some students need to be quarantined. And UConn's president says, listen, the big key in the fall is going to be flexibility because they're going to be able to need to change th different regulations based on what the state is saying and what COVID numbers look like. And they're going to make their formal presentation for students for this coming fall coming up in May. But again, overall, university leaders say there are a lot of reasons for optimism that life will return to something closer to normal in the fall on college campuses. Reporting live on UConn's campus and stores, I'm Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.